Well, hello, and welcome to day 107 of Lindos Luscious Limericks. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is arm day. Yes, arms. They, look, I get it. They're still a bit clunky from the work we've been doing the last few days. Maybe that's just me. But so it's okay. Don't stress. We'll be, uh, we'll be fine. We'll just, you know, lead you through it in the course. There'll be options. There'll be levels that you can choose, uh, you know, for yourself, which ones you want to do. So, you know, you don't have to... Don't have to bash it out. Do what feels good for you. We've got some sunshine trying to pretend it's spring today, so uh, that's quite nice. Um, don't let it fool you, it is cold outside. But uh, okay, well, let's go let's, let's, let's crack on, shall we? Uh, you're looking well, by the way. Have you changed your hair? Just haven't cut it for 22 weeks, maybe? Perhaps? Yeah, great. Okay, cool. <laughs> let's do this. If you're playing with me at home with today's playlist for 107, three, two, one, go. And fit hip with the part for something different. Lift up the toes and just place them down again after you've worked out how to balance the weight between the balls of the feet on the inside and the outside and the heels. Lifting up to the head, sinking down through the butt. And just take a moment to stabilize. So just send your awareness around the body and think about breathing through the feet, up to the belly, and down again. And we're just gonna do it with the arms, so up, and down. So while we're doing this, think about softening through the jaw. Imagine that the area from the earlobes down to the tops of the shoulders is getting longer. The rib cage can soften down so that the sternum relaxes until it touches the small of the back. The area underneath the shoulders here can soften down to touch the pelvis. Belly releases and the pelvis itself hangs heavy off the spine. Hips are soft and opening up through here. Knees are soft all the way down through the feet. And the center sinking right down into the center of the earth. Blossom the hands out, breathing. And wash down. Just go in your own rhythm. So each time you're going up, imagine that as the fingers rise up, in fact, the butt actually gets heavier. Remember, the head wants to rise up towards the heavens. So it has your upwards direction. Because it's going up, everything else can just hang off it. Good, and going all the way down. Blossom the hands, sink the butt, let that rise you up. There's strings on your fingertips that someone else is pulling up for you. As you rise up, the butt can just hang heavier still off the spine, the knees are bent the whole way. Beautiful. The next one as we go down, we're going to stay down and turn the hips to face the side, sink the butt to rise up, turn the hips again, rise down. So remember it's the hips that are moving, so it's like your belly button wants to point to the side. Obviously if you're feeling stress in the knees, do a smaller twist. And then as you rise up, it's because the butt sinks down, that makes you rise like a pendulum. Heads nice and heavy as you come down towards the ground. And one more on this side before we reverse the direction. Take the tension out of the jaw and over the throat. Good, turning the other way, turn the hips first up. Sink the butt to rise, fingertips are light, turning around. As you come up, have the sensation the shoulder blades are sliding down the back. So that the arm bones, the humerus sinks deeper into the shoulder joint. Good, 
we're staying down there. Just hanging over, let the head be heavy, roll through the shoulders. Good, expel the air. We're going to breathe in to rise up. Starting for the coccyx. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back down again. Let the body folding over, expel the air. And breathing in again to inflate the spine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back down. One more time going up. Good. Reset the shoulders. Just going to squeeze up and down. Breathing up. Bit faster. Now as you're doing these squeeze up at the shoulders, try and isolate the movement from the neck. So you're not scrunching the back of the neck where the neck connects to the head. You're just raising the shoulders up and down like a stretch. Just a bit of more air under the armpits now. And getting increasingly higher. So you're lifting the shoulders and the elbows. Generally what I tell you not to do. Good. Now as a contrast of the shoulders below and just the elbows rise. That's weird, isn't it? So the shoulders sort of sink down. It's like you're going, oh, I'm wet. I'm wet. Ew. Uh. Beautiful. All right, let's just start rolling through. Release over the diaphragm as you're breathing. Good. Elbows. Lifting tall through the head. Let that take the pressure off the body so the pelvis can hang heavy off the spine. Open out. Two, three, four, five, six. Going forwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And elbows. Two, three, four, five, six. And forwards. Good, going a little bit wider with the legs now. Just up and down. Breathing in. So as you rise up, it's like you've got this potential energy and you release it down as you fall over. I am stretching slightly for me so that my arms go behind the head a bit. So I'm getting a stretch to the shoulders, opening them up nice and released. Good. Swinging forwards and back. Nice and released. And just start to get a bit of a weight shift. Same again with bent arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And back to straight arms, just staying in the center. Four, five, six, seven. Good. Up. <coughs> Sorry, I had peanut butter before. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and then release 10 of the hips up and down. So the drive comes from the legs. One more set of these. Good. Hands go straight up. And squeeze together. Release. So you're pushing the wrists in together. Keep the head up. Don't bend it forwards. Good. Now squeeze in between the shoulder blades as you pull down. So you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. A bit wide with the feet. And we're going to reach. So both hands are stretching out. One's going forward, one's going back. 
Try and touch the walls. I'm sure you can if you try super hard. Okay, good. Double arm windmills. Uh, Speak of breaks, I mean. Good. Now we're going to open out to go a little slower. So again, have the feeling here that it's actually coming out from the center of the spine. So that you're really just using the torso and the arms are passive throughout this movement. It's the momentum of the body that's sending them around. Good, change direction. Good, and faster, so make the movement smaller, the arms are lighter. You get speed through being light, so relax the arms. Good, and reaching through. Pushing out one side of the rib cage and the other. So you're getting a stretch all the way through the arms there. And we can start to take it to the side. You can really pop out both the hip and the rib. So you get a beautiful stretch down the side of the body. Keep the head pointing towards the ground now as you do it. Lengthening through the neck. Good, going lower now. And as you go down, just bring your other elbow up, nice and high. Good, settle off in the middle. And bend the knees, and up, and bend. And up, and up, and bend, and up. Good, staying the center, flap arm. Just swap over which arm's going on top. My legs are straight, but they're not locked. Good, now bent arms. Now, as you come in, so bend them up, then cross them over as far as you can. So up and cross, up and cross, up. And change each time which one's on top. Good, hands down, just wiggle, sticking out one side of the hips and the other. And make it a double bounce, so wiggle, and wiggle. Good, windmills. And now with the weight shift. Good, back to the center again, we're gonna go double time. Keep it nice and light. Good, all right. Bend down, just wiggle up the hips from one side to the other. Take yourself, see so you have enough room in front of you. With the legs wide, just gonna fall forwards and up. So keep the elbows pointing back. And if you can, take the hands a little bit high up in between. Good, turning around into a down dog and just walk. Nice and slow, lifting the butt towards the ceiling. Really indulge in that feeling of the hip pestening down to the floor. And start to take the knee across the body so you get a twist, an extra stretch through the lats. Good, just settle down for a sec. Try and put the thighs on the wall behind you. Adjust your clothing as required. <laughs> All right, good, bend the knees now. So we're like in a, a rubbish down dog. Just send the small of the butt behind you. And we're gonna do push-ups with the elbows in. So in, two. So keep the elbows pointing towards the knees. Only go down as slow as you feel comfortable. Good. 
Good, front knee. Keep the knees bent. And we're gonna go down and up. Now reverse the arm that goes down first. So after this, we're gonna add in the side jumps. So we're gonna go down, 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 up, up, side, side, wiggle. Other arm, side, side, up, up, jump, jump, wiggle. Side, down, down, up, side, side, wiggle. Down, down, up, up, side, side, wiggle. Good, just relax the knees down. Roll it out. You owned it. Good. Stretching forward into a all fours, stretching up, arching through the thigh, spine. Down, two, back up. All right, good. Starting on the knees, we're gonna go down, and then into almost a child's pose. Keep the elbows tucked in. Now, if you want to increase the work, go up onto your toes into a high plank. Down. We're going to keep this slow. So you've got to work the control as well. Make sure you're engaging through the shoulder blades the whole way. Couple more. Good, back onto your knees. Boogie back. I'm just going to change direction so I don't hit a plant. Keep wiggling the back. Good, back up into a plank. And we're going to go shoulder goes in, out, in, and down. In, out, in, and down. In, out, in. One more set. Make sure you're engaging through the shoulder blades, pulling the belly button into the spine, lengthening from your heels to the top of the head. Good. Staying up, we're going to go to the side now. So in, out, in, and down. Now we're going to combine these. So we're going to go in, out, in, side, in, down, in, out, in, side, keep going, in, out, in, side, in, down, good, stay with that, a couple more, we're going to stay up here, now we're going to go in, well, I was waiting for the music, in, out, in, down, in, up, swing, in, up, keep going, you got it, in, up, swim, in, up, in, and again, swim, good, put the knees down, child's pose, just relax for a sec, for a sec, <laughs> Good, come back up again. All right, reaching the arm out into a starfish. Up, two, and down. I'm keeping the arm straight the whole way at the moment, and I am turning myself onto the side. Make sure you draw the shoulder blade into, into each other so you're engaging through the joint. You haven't got laxity through the shoulder joint. And down, up, and down, up. Good, so now from here, just relax for a second. Good, back up. So, we're going to go up, two, in, two, up, two, and down. Up, two. So, I am rotating the body as I do this. So, I'm going, the body goes sideways. It goes under. So going nice and slow because I want this to be controlled through the shoulder joint. A 
Couple more. Sorry, I just wanted to get in time with my music. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going a little bit faster, but we're not going out quite so wide. So we're going to go up, in, up. So I'm not really twisting the body too much now. Try and keep the arms straight the whole time though, as you go up. You done good. Last one. Good. Knees down. Child's pose. Stretch it out. Down to your butts. Lying down. Engage from the belly. Hands go forward and we're going to pulse. If you want to increase it, take the legs up. If you want to increase it even more, straighten them out. In this position, make sure you're letting the back relax into the ground. Don't take it through the neck, take it through the core. Keep going. Like you're bouncing and weird to imaginary balls and bring it here with your hands. Stay there, whichever position you're in, and we're going to go back. One more set, that's me too. And then, here we go, last bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and die. <laughs> Bring your knees in, we're done, and circle. Feels great to be alive, doesn't it? But think about how stretched out your shoulders feel now. Change directions. <laughs> Good, onto your side. Hand under your shoulder. Sideways push up. So we're gonna go faster. Up, two, three, and down. Up, two, three, and down. Up two, three, try and control it as much as you can. Good, changing sides. See, it wasn't too many. There's a reason why it wasn't too many, is because now we have to still do our push-up series. Oh yes, that's still coming, I haven't forgotten that. Three, and down. Up, two, three, and down. Two, three, and down. Up, two, good stuff. Onto your knees. Let's just take the time to roll up the shoulders. Just bring your arms in. Just gonna go out and in. Okay, so push up series. We're gonna skip elbows in because we've done a lot of that. Remember, just do what you can. Go for quality over quantity. Arms wide. Here we go. One, draw through the shoulder blades, particularly if you feel pain on the top of the biceps. Five, six, seven. That surely must be getting easier now. Good. Next one, thumbs up. Good. Coming forward, thumbs up. And five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, keep looking forward. Three, just slightly forward of the mat. Five, six, seven. See, it's getting easier, right? I bet you're smashing it out. I know you are. Go on your knees if you need to. Next one, my nemesis, diamonds. And five, six, seven, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. You nailed it, good. Roll through the shoulders. Into all fours. Take the toes under, down dog, walking through. Lift the butt nice and high. Good, into a plank. Either step out or plank jacks, here we go. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Up into a down dog. Walk the 
landing. Rolling up through the spine. Legs nice and wide. No, I didn't forget this stuff. Hands to the side. Here we go. And bounce. Get the hips going, why not? Little flappy wings. Circle. Keep them perfect circles. Keep the hands up and go backwards. Turn the hands up, go forwards. Let's go forwards and back with the hips. Yes, you hate me. Go backwards with the arms. Good, back to bouncing. Palms up. Palms down. Lifting tall through the head, don't scrunch the neck, palms up. And forward. One, two, three, four. Keep the head there, pulse back. And again, forwards. Breathe through the bone. And back. Turn your hands the other way. Pulsing forwards. Two, three, four, five, six. Pulse back. Stretch through the chest. Go forwards. Yes, you can do it. Come on. It doesn't hurt that much. One, two, three, four. Into teeny side circles. Two, three, four. Keep going. Five, six, seven. Keep going. And we're going to go side to side. You can do it. Bigger circles. Almost done. Keep going. Breathe, breathe. Hands to the center and clap. And circles. Good, alligators. Yes, you love it. I know. Yes, so do I. Last bit of pain. We're going to go pull. Good. Now lunge and up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Change your side. One. Two, three, four, five, keep going, six, seven, good, <laughs> swing it out, let go of the arms, just let the body do the work, arms can be floppy, you nailed it, good, into discus, keep the arms floppy, One more set. Good, legs wide. And adjusting the head strap. Shoulders. And go down nice and low with the legs. Rest up. Look how much you know that. Good, and swing again. Three, four, five, six, seven, and stop. Well done. Rolling down through the spine. And just let everything hang out. Work out those shoulders that are feeling possibly a little bit fatigued now. Don't try and do too much with your arms for the rest of the day. Good, stepping wide. And easy swings. Good in the centre, rolling up through the spine. Stepping wide and down. And if you can, looking up towards the hand. Breathe. Put the 
hand down, turn, pivot the foot just into a stretch here. Take the hand that's nearest the foot and stretch it towards the ceiling. Good, hand back down. Use your hands to support you as you come up into an A-frame. Stretch, lifting the chest towards the ceiling. Good, bend the knees, rolling up. And we're gonna go the other way now. And down. Turn the head if you can, otherwise just keep the hand, the head looking at the hand on the floor, stretching up, touch the ceiling. Good, put your focus back down, pivot on the ball of the foot, stretching through the flexor. The hand is closest to the foot, raise it up towards the ceiling. Good, and back down. Just take the weight of the back foot and chest upwards and forwards. Soften that front knee. Take yourself around so that you've got the feet hip width apart. Just relax over straight legs but not locked. Put the left hand on the outside of the right foot. Put the right hand towards the ceiling, deep breath in. And if you can, breathe out and look up. Bring the focus back down, just come down into a squat for a second, drain the ball over the head, and back up. Right hand goes on the left foot, left hand towards the ceiling. Wow, the song that Spotify's giving me next just is not appropriate. <laughs> Sense the vibe, Spotify. Good, left thing up towards the ceiling, and back down. Just wrap your hands underneath your thighs, wherever you are and that bend and just pull the spine away so that you get the stretch on the back. Don't do it too severely, you don't want to pop anything. Good, relax down. Rolling up through the spine either by breathing out or inflating. <sighs> Big stuff. And just into a tricep stretch. Nice gentle rolls around. Soften those knees. Make sure remember the head stays up. So don't push the head forwards in order to try and get that arm there behind the head. Just put it above the head. Yeah, if that's where you find your stretch. It's all good. Good, roll it out. Other arm. And circling round, nice and gentle. Doesn't have to be big. Soften those knees again. Good, the other way. Good, roll it out. Just take the part across the body, stretch out the traps, the triceps are underneath here. Oh, just why the two upper body muscles both start with a T-R-A? Ah, T-R-A, actually, T-R, T-R. I think we can all agree that as we go forwards, verbal communication is not, <laughs> is not the thing that's carrying me through. Good, so remember keep the shoulder blades level when you do this, don't fall around, just pull this up and forwards until you find a stretch. And if you can manage it, cross the hands above the bicep, above the elbow, put the hands straight up. If you can, hold on to. And up, push the forearms forward and just circle. And the other arm, or the other way, sorry. Up and forward, circle. Should be getting sort of uh, between your shoulder blades, around the lats, that kind of zone. Incidentally, if you push this in forwards, it should move onto sort of the tops of the shoulders. Let's just do that quick thing with the other side as well. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. And then finally find yourself a window frame or door frame and just open it out through the pecs. So hopefully, yeah, those push-up series should be getting a little easier. Um, you know, even if you're finding that you're 
just feeling more comfortable or that you're doing more on your knees before you have to go to your feet, the other way around, more on your feet before you go to your knees, or you can just do more. Um, if you're finding you're doing them mostly on your feet, and these are all good things, they're all small progressions, so that's really good. And we've got time, just slip the hands behind your head. We've got time, you don't have to bash through this. Remember, as I always say, the goal of this is to keep you moving, keep you feeling good. It's not about beating yourself up. There's enough of the world beating us up at the moment to worry about that. So I give you permission, if you feel like, you know, you're not as energized on this particular day, you're just feeling tired, you know, things can be really overwhelming. So you, sometimes you just don't feel like pushing yourself. I absolutely give you official permission to tap out. It's really, really, really fine. Um, one of the most important things with this is learning how to listen to your body. So if your body's telling you genuinely, you know, obviously sometimes you feel tired and if you start working, you go, no, actually I feel really good now. Good, follow that. But if you feel tired and you start working and you start to feel tired and more tired or sick or anything, tap out. It's absolutely fine. Lie on your back in semi supine just when you're on your back with the legs up and breathe <laughs> and just let the body relax to the floor or do some of the you know, the lower impact stuff that we've done before. All of this is good stuff. If you beat your body up, it won't reward you for it. So this is about listening to what we genuinely feel like doing. That in the long run, playing the long game, is gonna be a much better training technique. We're not Olympic athletes, we don't have to punish ourselves, uh, but even they have to have scheduled days of rest. So listen to your body, you have permission, like I said, to do what you need. Thank you again for your messages. I deeply, deeply, deeply love them. Uh, Great to hear everyone's still connected. So anyway, enough from me. Uh, please be kind to yourselves and be kind to others. I love you a lot. Bye.